I never played games. I know nothing about online games. I never made an MMO. I know nothing, Crimson. And you, the Almighty, know everything, apparently. Everyone else is stupid. And uh, that's that's life, right? For you. But it's stupid. Don't be stupid, please. Please. Please don't be stupid. I feed a troll too much. I agree. Jeff Dumpster, we ban all cheaters in the game. Stop trolling. Like I said, it's like an insult. It's like someone going to my house and put a dump of crap on my porch or in my house. Do you think I will allow that? It's my living and my life work. Don't be stupid. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the, cron the con Constructible Rituals. No, it's correct. So we will first look into what Hendrik has to say about the Constructible Rituals and also some other stuff. And then I will go through the random questions and answers list. So I wish you much fun. Great. <clears throat> I wasn't sure. My uh, One of my hard drive died on me. Only one year old. Quite new drive. It just completely died on me. Couldn't get it back to life. I need another one indeed. I'm coming back. We're gonna pick it up where we left it, alright? We got a place in the character sheet where it lets us know where our home priest is set. That's a pretty good suggestion. I think that could be helpful, yeah. We're getting closer to uh, our necro patch, as you know. We've done some sneak peek on my previous stream, showing some of the spells. The link for that is in the description. Uh, and as I mentioned last time, we don't want to show everything I still think on actual spirit uh, ritual parts which is the other part of necromancy so there's a few components with the ritual system there are a few one, one is um, constructible rituals uh, portable rit rituals just like any portable bench out in the world for instance so it's a basic component to start doing your rituals and then there are another tier which allows you to build a more sturdy version for your house with a very small bonus as well and then there's a third in some cases and they are out in the world at specific locations and they may be more ancient and have more power bonuses to them <clears throat> so th those are the three types and i'm gonna show you what i'm talking about so right this is the user interface so this so here is a portable normal ritual kit table whatever we call it so this is something you can uh, place anywhere in the world to access it to start building your own um, creatures and this when you access this ritual in the world this is the kind of user interface you will get so there will be two different types a normal ritual table and a two black ritual table so and the Two black ritual table is a specific recipe creature, as you may know by now. And uh, the ritual table is more um, the way to ri raise any of the dead creatures in the whole world. So, for instance, raising a troll again, or a minotaur, or pretty much any creature in the world, with a few exceptions. <clears throat> so, as you can see, there's a few components that is required. We have the slots with carcass, the actual um, carcasses that you want to raise again. And then there's a modifier carcass slot. And then there are two specific component modifiers, uh, like artifacts and gem types, that will also further alterate your pet uh, stats and attributes in different ways. Always need a ritual candle as well in these components. So while uh, this is the first tier that can be constructed anywhere in the world, you can also buy this one to place in your house, for instance, and it will have a little bit more efficiency compared to the um, portable one. And then, as I mentioned, there is a third one since that may look like this. And as you can see, it's a little bit more elaborated. And this is the one that you can find in the world, but you won't be able to construct this one on your own. <clears throat> so as you can understand, it's a risk to go here to build your specific creature since it's maybe in dangerous lands and, you know, other players, whatever may be there. But uh, there's a chance for it at least to try to use some of those. And then we have uh, the two black version. As you can see, it looks a little bit different, have some different components. And you can also construct this one in your house, which looks like this. A few different components to build that specific necro pet. And also like, like I mentioned, uh, there's a third one for this one as well. Somewhere out in the world, uh, hi high risk, but also a little re uh, rewarding return for using these out in the world. Those are the starting ritual kits. Uh, we can't place on roofs yet. Uh, we may add support for that later, but for now you need to use the floor. When you create these pets, they are not welcome in any city. So if you bring a Tupilac or any race pet for that matter into a town the town town guard will react and attack that creature and since you are the owner 
they will also attack you. As I mentioned before, we are not gonna say any dates. As I mentioned, it's much more important that we deliver something that is polished and bug free so the experience can be as good as possible rather than rush things out to try to keep deadlines while we're on testing phase and we have to postpone due to fixing those bugs. So there, there's a small uh, difference between the different tiers of the tables, giving the pet a little bit more juice, pretty much. Uh, that is a balance part now as well, so I can't say exactly what we're gonna look at, what kind of ratios, but uh, there will be a small reward for using the ancient ones out in the world be close to danger and also by other players or you can just build your own in your house or use a temporary one out in the wild to build a pet uh, so we will slow down a little bit on on big features while we focus on um, building some of those uh, fixing those bugs and issues one of them is the different heights on and houses is very annoying so obviously we need to fix that one as soon as we can we are aware of what bugs are pestering the game right now. We have the list, we have identified all of that. Uh, we looked into the player feedback, what is pushing players away or just annoy the crap out of them. If you want to know something about annoying bugs, check the link in the description where I rant about the Sato dungeon and the, the spawn placement and all the other stuff. In different ways. That is not acceptable. Uh, obviously for our game but we don't have the 10 millions of combination where you get spiders out of a pig so the main carcass determines what creature it is if it's the pig or the uh, spider so now to the list more server capacity is worked on huge transformations in the company they need time yeah i, I think you hear the the fucking um, um grasshoppers in the background yeah that, that are my my ants uh, that is uh, this is uh, the food for my ants i think i will remove them next time so content is paused until they fixed more of the bugs so the main focus is now bug fixing Star Wars team is expanding and they are expanding a lot. They are now 37 to 38 developers, uh, uh, not uh, employees. Not all of them are developers. Unreal Engine 5 is also a little bit different. So they also need time to get all people started on that. The new roadmap will come at some point. The guild tag showing at a distance will come later. They need to improve the performance first. The trinkets drop rate will be lowered a little bit. It's a little bit out of balance. The invisible weapon bug is worked on. Henrik now promised they will release content now a lot more fixed, a lot more polished and with a lot less bugs. Territory control and sieging will come soon after many of these annoying bugs are fixed. The jungle client crash is fixed but other crashes are still worked on. So Star World is here for the long run so they don't run for the content patches, they rather run for the fixing patches and then the content patches. This is at least what Henrik said. Haven will be free to play later. Beast Mastery is on hold. Marketing will come after the bug fixing. Crossbows will come in the future. The animals will also get a better mechanic that you can't just call attack pet and run in the opposite direction. Fun fact, Henrik has a friend who worked on the Netflix series Love, Death plus Robots. There will be a weak spot stats indicator later. There will maybe a second character slot in the future, but this is far in the future and they really need to discuss this first. The Necromancer pets will use pet points as normal pets, like normal pets. The more rare the artifacts and the gems are, the more powerful will be the raised creature. More stuff will come for alchemy over time. Kill moves will come for weapon types and stuff. More trinkets will come over time. And the veteran system will come at some point to give you more skill options and stuff. And again, thanks for watching. These stream summaries are a lot of work all the time. So thanks. Thanks for your support. And also special thanks to all the supporters, Carmel, Professor O, Slam of Gaming, Tip Neil, Lot of Skill, Frederick, Ronus, Patrax, Vinya, Colau, Bulldog, you, and all the others, of course. So always remember to make party hard and see you all next time. Goodbye. Okay, goodbye.